Now we turn to the major federal investigation into the 24-year-old suspect shot dead after allegedly killing four military men in Chattanooga. He was a standout athlete raised in Tennessee. So was he inspired by ISIS? Here's ABC's senior national correspondent Jim Avila. As the sounds of that hail of bullets in Chattanooga fade away, the authorities look into the past of yet another lone wolf shooter. We're learning more details about Mohammed Yosef Abdelaziz, a naturalized American citizen born in Kuwait. The 24-year-old was an electrical engineer with a good paying job. He was an athlete seen here competing in an amateur mixed martial arts event. Mohammed Abdelaziz! And here, in a video he posted to social media, jumping in a swimming hole with friends. In 2012, he graduated from the University of Tennessee, his mom posting these photos on Facebook. Four years earlier, he joked in his high school yearbook, writing, my name causes national security alerts. What does yours do? He was just a typical American kid in high school. Abdulaziz's high school teacher, who hasn't seen him in seven or eight years, recalls how he was as a teenager. I mean, he was a joker all the time. He kind of reminds you of like, you know, a regular fraternity boy or something. But more recently, signs of trouble. Officials tell ABC News he spent seven months in Jordan, a potential turning point. And in April, he was arrested for an alleged DUI. Just a few days ago, he posted on his blog, life is short and bitter. Tonight, new details about what happened in those chaotic moments that took four lives. He did have uh, at least two long guns and he did have a, a one handgun. It was clear that this um, gunman had every intent to encounter and to murder police officers if he, if he needed to. The harrowing ordeal began at 1045 yesterday morning. A man in a silver Ford Mustang convertible, top down, drove into this strip mall where recruiters are set up for all the branches of the military. But the shooting didn't last long. Within seconds, Abdulaziz took off, racing nearly seven miles down the highway to a Navy Reserve support center. Chattanooga police officers immediately began following and chasing that vehicle between the first and second locations. He entered the facility and started shooting again, killing four Marines. All units respond to all units respond to Police descended and a firefight broke out. These officers were under a tremendous amount of gunfire, and yet they continued to move forward against this target. During the melee, Officer Dennis Padigo was struck by gunfire. As he went down, his teammates who were responding equally as aggressively came to his aid. They put their hands on him, dragged him from under the gunfire, and bravely returned fire to ensure that he was safe and the gunman re remained engaged. Police shot and killed the shooter just 30 minutes after his first shots rang out. It was all over. What resonates tonight are the faces of the victims. The baby face Skip Wells, just 21 years old, the only son raised by a single mother. He had only recently joined the Marine Reserves. Skip was made for the Marines and the Marines was made for Skip. His friends say he loved music. He was a fervent member of his high school band. He was in the orchestra at church. No one ever in the military ever would expect to die in the capacity in which he did. But he died with his boots on, and he died doing what he loved. And in the moments before he died, Wells, according to the Associated Press, texting his girlfriend his last words, active shooter. And then there's combat veteran Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Sullivan, 40 years old, who survived two tours of duty in Iraq only to be gunned down here at home. It's extremely tragic to see an American soldier killed on American soil. It should never happen. It should never happen. Sullivan's family draped a flag over their restaurant in Springfield, Massachusetts, and wrote this, he was our hero and he will never be forgotten. Thank you, Tommy, for protecting us. In Grantsburg, Wisconsin, Carson Holmquist's picture today hanging on his high school's military honor wall. He was only 27. And in Burke, North Carolina, David White being remembered tonight by his aunt, 
He was dedicated as a father and husband, she tells us. His life was one of joy and love. The FBI is now investigating whether Abdulaziz has any links to international terrorist groups, including ISIS.